In this demo, I'll show you how to deflicker two regions of a video by separating them into two layers and combining them with a layer mask. This time-lapse clip has some major flickering. It was shot using an Icon D7000 and Tokina 1116mm f2.8 lens. Apparently the lens iris was not operating smoothly, causing significant differences in exposure between frames, leading to a great deal of aperture flicker. The flickering was so severe, it was resistant to normal deflickering. But, I was able to get a good result by deflickering the sky and foreground separately and combining them together using a layer mask. I'll take you through the steps. First, I'll try GB Deflicker with its default settings. I'm running After Effects CS6, and I've added the original clip to a composition. I'll add GB Deflicker with its default options. I'll press the spacebar to preview the deflickered clip. And when that's done, I'll render with the default settings to see how well it does. Hmm, this doesn't look good. The default settings just aren't working and the flicker is still there. I'll go back to After Effects and try and see why. I'll move to the start of the clip and temporarily turn off the deflicker effect. Next, I'll zoom in on the luminous graph. Watch the sky as I scrub through a few frames. It looks like most of the flickering is in the sky, but not in the foreground. With the default settings, GBD Flicker is trying to deflicker the entire image. This works most of the time, but not for this clip. I'll try just deflickering in the sky. To do that, I'll open the histogram options and check the Analyze Within sub-rectangle box. Then I'll drag the two corners to cover just the sky. I'll enable the GBD Flicker filter again and preview the entire clip. You can see there's still quite a bit of flicker. I'll let the preview complete so we can look at the entire luminance graph. The yellow graph is the input luminance. Look how ragged it looks. That's indicative of the flicker. Look also at the histogram for a few different frames. With normal flicker, it would just shift from side to side. But with this clip, it's also changing shape spreading wider for some frames. From my experience, I need to change both the shift and the spread. Instead of smoothing, I'll choose keyframes. And change the correction method to shift. The image is gray because the default values are 128 for the luminance and 0 for the spread. I'll move to the start and add a keyframe. And click the yellow histogram indicator to set the keyframe luminance and spread to match the input. Now I'll move to the end and add another keyframe. and click the yellow histogram indicator again to set the keyframe luminance and spread to match the input. Now I'll preview the clip with these changes. And voila! The sky is deflickered, but of course not the foreground. To deflicker the foreground, I'll select the original layer and duplicate it. This new layer will be the foreground. I'll temporarily turn off the original or sky layer and change the sub-rectangle to match the foreground. And then I'll set the two keyframes 
to match the foreground start and end values. Now the foreground is deflickered. All that remains is to make a layer mask to combine the sky and foreground. I'm going to skip those steps because they're a part of After Effects. There are many excellent tutorials to show you how to make a mask using Find Edges Effect and Auto Trace. Here you can see the mask applied to the sky. And here's the two layers combined. And here's the deflickered result. GBD Flickr can't fix all Flickr problems, but with some advanced techniques like multiple layers and the keyframe shift method, some serious Flickr problems can be fixed. If you have After Effects or Premiere Pro, please download a GBD Flickr free trial and try it for yourself.